Today, we're looking at the incredible flight skills of birds landing at feeders using a super slow motion camera. We're wildlife filmmakers Tim and Russ Lehman, and we usually travel the world filming. But in this series, we're using our cameras to explore the lives of the birds that live right in our backyard in Massachusetts. Welcome to Backyard Birds Revealed. Wild Birds Unlimited helps you bring the joy of bird feeding to your backyard. With more than 365 stores, our experts help you choose the right food and feeders for your neighborhood birds. Shop online or find your local store at WBU.com. So on this camera, I'm filming at regular speed. So one second is one second, just the way we see it with our eye. But on that high speed camera, Russell's one second of footage is gonna be turned into 40 seconds when we play it back. And we're not gonna play a whole 40 seconds. We're gonna play a fraction of a second. So we're gonna be able to see what these birds are doing so they don't just crash into the bird feeder. We also wanna compare different species and see if there's any interesting differences in the way they make a landing. Oh yeah, that, that was a really good one. Yeah? I think he came in exactly from the right direction. Let's check. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yes. You can totally see that turbulence on his back. Yeah, I see that. You see what I mean? Feathers like on the his feathers back on his back are, are like rippling, rippling with, the, with the yeah. turbulence. You know, when, when the uh, chickadee's coming in for a, a landing, you can't even really see you know, how many it's times like a flurry. it's going. It's like a little, yeah. it's like a little whir, yeah. a little whir of wings, but you can't see anything. Yeah, but in the slow motion camera, we can see that even when he enters the frame, he beats his wings like three or maybe even four times before he lands. Oh, that was a good tip, man. Yeah, I got it. So here, Tim Moss coming in, then flares out. Wow. Boom. Sticks the feet out. So they're really flying backwards, right? They're like turning yeah. their body vertically to like break. Right. That with, you know, with their tail and their body. And look how it sticks out its long legs to use like a shock absorber and cushion its landing. It'll be really cool to get some shots of some of the bigger birds, like a morning dove or something like that. They're a bird that usually looks kind of calm and friendly, but I think in super slow motion they might look super epic and really, really cool. You look at this stuff, Dan. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's really cool. Look at the morning dove. It's so much bigger than chickadee, and it lands really differently, kind of vertically like a helicopter. So hopefully they'll come in, we'll be able to frame a tight shot that just includes the top of this, and we'll be able to see like the last sort of landing wing beat. All right, well now we've moved our cameras over here to try to get like the head-on shot. Probably be really cool to see, you know, from head-on as they come in for the last part of the landing, you know, how they're flaring out their wings and their tail and trying to capture that. All right. All right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that backlighting looks so cool. The backlighting is so cool. All right. After seeing what these birds can do in slow motion, I feel like I can see some of these details even at regular speed. It makes it that much more fun to watch the birds at my feeders, and I hope it makes it more fun for you to watch yours as well. Thanks for tuning in to Backyard Birds Revealed. Be sure to check out our other episodes on the Cornell Lab YouTube channel and the All About Birds website.